Hi guys, welcome back. So for today's pick a card reading, we're going to find out more about your future self. So as always, we have here three crystals. Let's begin with this one. This is Sacra Agate or Flower Agate for group number one. White Jade Sphere for group number two. And then we have Peach Moonstone for group number three. Well, you know the drill. Once you're ready, just click on the timestamps below. All right, so you chose Sakura or Flower Agate. Let's begin. Spirit Guides, Archangels and Angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective we chose, group number one. Let's take a look at your future self. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. The Hermit. Seven of Swords. The Star. Oops. We'll get this one. And you have the Knight of Wands. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, you have three of swords. Okay. So here's what I'm actually seeing for you, group number one. What I actually heard very strongly is that when it comes to your future self, you guys are going to be a lot more careful, um, either when making decision or when it comes to people in general. It's not just all about romantic connections or love partnerships, but people in general. Because I feel a lot of you chose this pile. Um, you felt betrayed or you were betrayed, okay? Because for me, Three of Swords is not just, you know, talking about loss or sadness, but it's also talking about being betrayed, okay? So I feel that, yeah, some of you watching this pile, that was your past experience in which you probably trusted somebody. Because you got Seven of Swords, which is all about lies and deception. And yeah, maybe in the past when you actually like someone, you just give in, all right? You just try to take a leap of faith, um, which is also good. Um, that means you're not afraid to try out things or you probably just give in easily in the past. But I see you guys becoming a lot more careful, all right? Again, not just around romantic connections or partnerships, but people in general. Um, with the Hermit card, I see you, you know, trying to search for the truth, okay? Wanting to find out if this person is hiding something. Can they be really trusted, okay? Just like with this woman over here holding this book, like you wanted to uncover, all right? You wanted to find out and learn more about a person, and that's because of what you wanted is something that is serious. What you wanted is something that is actually for long term or something that is secure. Okay. Now, this can also be applied not just around connections, but to your decisions in life. All right. You really are going to be finding out the truth first. You're really going to be taking your time to examine because that's the energy of the hermit. The hermit tries to seek for enlightenment and tries his very best to analyze the situation before doing anything, okay? Before you actually give in or before you actually take a leap of faith. So that's really what I'm picking up so far. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. Let's take a look at your future self. Trapped in fear. Pioneer. Milestone, and then status quo. Okay, let's put this here. There you go. All right, so here's what I'm saying. For others of you, 
when it comes to your future self, I see you becoming a lot more confident, all right, to express yourselves or to go for the things that you really want. Maybe currently or in the recent past, you may have the tendency to dim your own light or to just stay in the background, all right, or to put yourself in the dark just because you don't trust yourself or just because you're afraid of what people are going to say or how are you going to be judged by people? Because that's the energy of the Eight of Swords, all right, in which it's only your thoughts that's kind of like limiting you. I see you living to your highest or fullest potential here because you guys, group number one, you have the recipe for success. I tell you that, all right? You guys are very creative. You have a lot of ideas that could actually help not only yourself, but the people around you, okay? And you can definitely reach milestones here, all right? I see you guys achieving a lot. Wow, this is so freaking beautiful. And maybe the only challenge for some of you right now is that you need to break free from what's limiting you from achieving your highest and true potential, okay? This is so beautiful. I so love your reading. Let's try to pull up another one. You have the Y card. Ha, huh, look at that. Leadership. Isn't that so freaking beautiful? Oh my gosh. I so love this. This is exactly what I was just talking about earlier, you guys. Oh my gosh. Then you got the sun. Yin yang. Well. Okay. So based on these four cards, like what I said earlier, let's start off with this leadership card. You're becoming a lot more stronger than ever, group number one, okay? You're freeing yourself with the image of the horse over here. You're really freeing yourself from whatever it is that's keeping you stuck in life, all right? Even your own limiting beliefs. There's really something about that because you're finally realizing that, hey, you know what? I can be a leader. All right. I don't need to be doing things that other people wanted me to do. That's number one. Or I don't need to dim my own light. I can actually shine just like the sun. All right. Because this leadership card is talking about you realizing that you're no longer the supporting cast, but you are the leading man or the leading woman. Okay. So there's something about you realizing your own capabilities your um, abilities or potential. And I feel as well that, yeah, moving forward or in the future, I see you guys becoming a lot more emotionally balanced even. I'm also getting here that when it comes to love and partnerships, just like what I said with this Y card, you really wanted to get to know more about a person before you actually give in, before you trust them easily, all right? You're really going to be carefully examining what does this person really want? Can I really trust this person? Okay. I don't know why this is suddenly giving me the Queen of Swords energy just because she's actually a female warrior. Because the Queen of Swords is actually somebody who doesn't want to play games with anyone. All right. And I see you guys becoming like that. All right. You wanted something serious. You don't really want it to exhaust yourself or waste your time on people, situations that are not really going to help you grow, or it's not really going to help you at all, or it's not going to be beneficial for you. All right. You're becoming a lot more careful around your choices in life. All right. And in love even. Beautiful. Let's see what else. Throw chakra. Sacred pole. Mm -hmm. 
fulfillment. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, look at this, wisdom. <laughs> I so love this, group number one. A lot of you who chose this pile, some of you really went through a lot in life, okay? But all of those scars that you have because of the battles that you have faced, it has taught you so many things, right? So that's why I always say that not everything is perfectly bad or negative, all right? We may still look at a very unfortunate event or situation in a positive way, in such a way that we're going to be looking at those unfortunate um, situations or past heartbreaks or disappointments as something that we can actually learn from, which is going to be teaching us to become a lot more wiser and to do things differently going forward as well. And I see you guys doing exactly the same thing, okay? I'm also picking up that some of you are also going to be a lot more confident to speak your truth. For instance, maybe some of you, it's hard for you to either express yourselves because you're afraid of what people are going to say or how you're actually going to be viewed by others. Others of you, you are kind of like, yeah, um, basically just trying to limit yourself from achieving the success that you so deserve because you don't trust yourself. You're not seeing yourself as somebody who can actually achieve something far more better, all right? But like what I said, I'm getting here that those things are going to be changing in the future, all right? And I'm really beginning to see here based on the cards that eventually once you're able to realize that, you know what, that is not true, all right? I can become a lot more better than I am right now, all right? And I know that I need to release anything, whatever it is that's limiting me from becoming the person that I'm meant to be. So yeah, I see you guys really learning a lot from past experiences. You guys are becoming a lot more wiser, all right, in your journey with the wisdom card over here. I'm also hearing somebody watching this file is really dreaming of becoming a writer or you're good at expressing yourself not, you know, in terms of speech or orational skills, but a more of like getting that part of your gift is actually to write. I don't know who's this for, but I'm actually hearing that when I saw the books, okay? So yeah, I, I see you becoming a really skilled um, writer for whoever this is for, who really wanted to become an aspiring or, or an aspiring writer watching this pile. Very nice. Okay, let's see what else. Echoes, ancient culture, roots, customs, okay? See? Uniqueness. Oh, my gosh. Let's pull up another one. Let's try this deck. Are you freaking kidding me? Got the storyteller and we see her a book and there's a pen and an ink. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> this is so weird. Because when I saw the books here, Spirit wanted me to deliver that message for someone watching this file who really wanted to become a writer or somebody who's an aspiring writer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so beautiful. Let me just get one more card before we discuss this. <laughs> I love this. Ah, then he got love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. And yeah, this is exactly what I was just talking about earlier, right? Remember when I actually said something about we must actually train our minds to see the beauty or the good in all things, not just the negative ones, even the most unfortunate events. 
there's definitely something that you are also going to be learning from it, even though it's really heartbreaking, even though it's really, you know, bad or terrible, there's always something good within that really unfortunate situation or event. So it's kind of like similar to the message of, um, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, all right? So that's the person that you are also becoming, group number one. And like what I said with a storyteller, somebody really watching this file is an aspiring writer, or you really wanted to express yourself through writing, okay? And your ancestors, your guides are really believing in you so much, all right? Do what you love. If this is something that resonates with you for whoever this is for who wanted to be a writer, go for it, especially that this is actually your passion. You're meant to speak your truth. That's also what I'm hearing. And even if you're not an aspiring writer, this is how you're becoming as well, group number one in the future, in which you're no longer afraid to speak your truth. All right, you're becoming more authentic. And at the same time, you are also honoring your own uniqueness, all right? There's really something about you realizing that, hey, I am unique. I am not a small person. Maybe currently or in the recent past, you always put yourself down. Because I keep on hearing that a lot of you guys are dimming your own light. And you shouldn't. Because you guys are really beautiful. Just like a snowflake. Every snowflake is unique, right? So I see you guys becoming a lot more loving of yourself as well, all right? You're also doing the things that you truly are passionate about, and you're also being guided by your spiritual team, okay, along this journey. Some of you are also going to be interested in getting to know more about your roots. So maybe somebody watching this pile, you may be biracial, all right? I don't know, I'm getting that too. And so some of you are going to be interested in, yeah, reconnecting um, to your roots. There's really something about that. Yeah. I'm also hearing that some of you are kind of like, yeah, not to say that you don't like being biracial, but maybe you had not so good experiences, whether you were bullied or, yeah, you, you were kind of like confused, like, I don't know, am I American or am I actually Italian? Let's just say, you know, so I, I'm getting here that somebody watching this pile is going to be resonating with that in the future. You're really going to be embracing, yeah, your roots. Somebody is going to be rediscovering or going back to the roots to embrace it, all right, and to, yeah, discover more about their culture. Very interesting. I love this reading. So we're not done yet. Let's try this one. Oh, my gosh, really? Interesting. <laughs> Beautiful. Some of you are rebels. Like you're not afraid, you know, to become different. Um, maybe currently or in the recent past, you may actually do things that are not really you. Or you're just doing it because everybody else is doing it. But I see you becoming more of like a rebel in such a way that, yeah, you are really going to be doing the things that are uniquely you. All right. So that's why I said earlier, there's something about you embracing your true self. It's part of you becoming a lot more authentic. Okay, let's see what else. Mm, okay. All right. So here's what I'm saying. Somebody watching this pile, um, either this is something that you're already doing or this is what you might be doing in the future because somebody watching this pile is highly psychic. All right. So whether you're already doing it or you're about to, 
I see you growing spiritually. All right. So if you're already doing it, then continue doing that because they're still showing me here that you're really going to be of help more and more to other people out there with your gifts or with your skills. All right. And there's really something about growth. Maybe that's why I got the Empress card. All right. So I see you developing more of your skills. Okay. So for instance, let's just say you've been doing tarot reading. All right. Currently then you might actually explore other stuff uh, to be an expert on some other yeah, areas, right? So I'm getting growth. Now, if you're not yet like doing it as part of your spiritual career, then some of you, that's your future self. Uh, maybe right now you just love watching pick a card readings, checking out chair readers and all that. And eventually you are going to become one, okay? That's number one. Number two, we've already explained something about you um, wanting to fight for your right. You're not afraid to speak your truth. I'm really getting that. Somebody watching this pile is kind of like an activist, all right? Um, you really wanted to fight for the right of others. And maybe you wanted to do that in the form of writing. That's also what I'm hearing. So that's part of your future self. Or it's just basically you, like what I said earlier, in which you are embracing your own skin, okay? You're not afraid um, how you're going to be judged by others, all right? You're taking full control of your life as well. Others of you, I'm picking up that when it comes to your future self, it's like, you really wanted to live a much more peaceful and quiet life. Somebody watching this file is wanting to, yeah, relocate or to live in a place where it's just really peaceful, kind of like a country setting. I'm really getting that. And yeah, I see you guys as well, kind of like um, dismissing the past or releasing the past, realizing that there's no point as well. Um, to dwell in the past anymore because I must be brave enough to turn the next page and create something new for myself. That's also what I'm hearing, which is good. That's you transforming. There's a death of an old self. I'm really getting that. Let's see what else. Wow. You got balance. My gosh, this is exactly what I was just talking about earlier. When I saw the yin and yang, white light, mystical. Ooh, what is this? Celestial. Wow. Okay. So again, like what I said, a lot of you are really going to be more balanced in the future. Okay. Emotionally, and mentally as well. I feel this is also your way of protecting yourself because every time I see this image of this white light card where there's a glass jar, I keep on hearing the word protection. Okay. So I'm really getting here that moving forward or in the future, you will find yourself becoming a lot more conscious as well of the energies that you invite into your life, all right? Even people or connections, you're really going to be a lot more careful too. It's not to say that you're going to be putting your walls up, but you're really going to be, you know, setting up some boundaries as well, especially if the energies of the people around you is not really good, okay? So I'm seeing you becoming a lot more careful around um, the people that you entertain or invite into your life. That's part of your protection. Plus, like what I said, you're learning now to become a lot more balanced. Maybe in the past or currently, you just give in, all right? You just give your love, attention, or whatsoever to someone, but I see you becoming a lot more careful, all right? A lot more balanced. Plus, like what I said earlier, somebody watching this pile, if you're already, you know, doing some sort of like a spiritual career, whether you're an astrologer, a psychic, a healer, then there's definitely going to be some development or growth in your skills and abilities because you're also being blessed and being guided by your spiritual team. All right, to evolve or 
kind of like acceleration. Yeah, that's really what I'm hearing. Yeah, like your skills are really developing, you're elevating. That's what I'm picking up, which is good. All right, so there's growth for sure. Let's see what else. Okay. Mature, it says here. So a lot of you are becoming a lot more mature. Mm-hmm. Got vindication. See, looking for the gift connected to the situation. That's exactly what we were just talking about earlier. Yeah. Some of you are going to be vindicated. Okay. So this is something that you're hoping for. That's part of what's going to happen in the future. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. So let me start off with this one. I feel that some of you are kind of like uncomfortable with yourself, right? Either you're having a hard time accepting yourself. Somebody watching this pile has been self-sabotaging, all right? But I'm getting here that in the future, that's going to change. Something will happen in which it would help you to realize something that I shouldn't be doing this to myself anymore. I shouldn't be hating myself. Instead, I need to just learn from my own mistakes or from past situations and just rise above it. Okay. So I'm getting that for someone watching this pile. And maybe part of it, you're going to be looking at unfortunate situations or events differently. Your perspective is going to be changing as well because now you're seeing the gift connected to every situation. And like what I said, some of you are also going to be vindicated, okay? Plus, you also got maturity. So either you're becoming a lot more emotionally uh, mature or you're becoming mature than ever because, again, growth is happening for a lot of you guys who chose this pile. Yeah, you're no longer going to be allowing yourself to be a prisoner of the past, which is weird. It's quite similar to this trap and fear card. So maybe currently this is the case or this is what's happening in which you're allowing yourself to become a prisoner of your own past. But like what I said, in the future, there is a huge, huge possibility in which you're finally breaking free from that because you are realizing that there's no point, okay? Okay. And that you have the power to create a new story for yourself, all right? To be brave enough to turn the next page, all right? And not to be stuck on the last page that you were on or currently that you're on. Yeah, somebody watching this pile, oh my gosh, is also going to be exploring, yeah, new things that they haven't tried out before. Either you will be studying something. Some of you are also going to be interested in studying more about astrology. I'm hearing that, honestly. Some of you are thinking of becoming a teacher, all right? I'm also getting that. Or some of you are coming back to school. I'm also hearing that. So maybe um, you left school for how many years? Somebody's going to come back and study again, all right? Others, maybe, who knows? It's a master's degree. Yeah, he got the breakthrough. <laughs> you guys will have a breakthrough. An aha moment. Yep, look at this. Being extremely observant. I got this at the very start of the reading, if you can still remember. Do you still remember the hermit card at the very start of the reading in which you're trying to search for the truth or you're seeking for the truth, okay? Because like what I said, in the past, maybe, you know, a lot of you were heartbroken or you were betrayed. Because I keep on hearing betrayal. Maybe you used to trust somebody so much, all right, only to find out that this person is very deceptive, okay? So moving forward, you guys are really going to be taking your time and observing not only a person, not only romantic connections, but people in general or the situation before you actually act upon something, Okay. That's also part of what's going to happen um, when it comes to your future self. Let's see. What else? 
Very interesting. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got the bloom card. Beautiful. Elixir of life. And he got Lorelei. Okay. Oh my gosh, like what I said, a lot of you guys are finally going to be releasing the past, okay? So you're now ready to move forward. You're no longer going to be allowing yourself to be a prisoner of the past because that's the energy I'm getting when I saw this Lorelei card where there's a mermaid and there's a boat and there's an anchor. So maybe currently, all right, you're still kind of like attached towards the past, or it's hard for you to let go of the past. So somebody watching this file is still probably having a hard time letting go of something from the past. But like what I said, they're showing me earlier that you guys are finally, you know, breaking free from that. You're releasing it. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to start something new for yourself. All right. And you're just looking at past experiences as something that would, you know, teach you a lot of valuable lessons. Okay. You're seeing the magic in all things, really. And you're growing. Because this Bloom card talks about a woman who's very feminine, all right? Yet she appears to be so freaking strong, okay? That even though she is very nurturing, kind, compassionate, yeah, all of those, you know, traits of the divine feminine, okay? Yeah, I see you guys, you know, still maintaining that strength. There's something about inner power or personal strength. And there's also something about you kind of like protecting yourself moving forward because of the lessons that you have gotten from the past situations or past events. Very beautiful. All right. So let's see here. What else? Let's get a message for you. And maybe this can also... Um, tell us about the person that you're about to become in the future. And then we'll just get a message for you guys. But this is also something that could be of help. It says, I am compassionate. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up. See? Oh my gosh! For others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. I am compassionate. This is who you are, actually. All right? Group number one. This is your true nature. You guys are very compassionate. And I feel that's also the reason as to why uh, some of you may have been betrayed or abused by other people. All right? But that has taught you a lot of lessons to become a lot more stronger. Not to say that you need to be cold, withdrawn, or to be, you know, mean towards others because somebody did hurt you. But you're just learning from it or you're actually still learning how to become compassionate um, towards yourself and towards others. But yeah, that's it. And then you have, I am practical, number 14. You are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet you're wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. What did I tell you guys? Oh my gosh. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. My gosh, this is creepy because this is exactly what we were just talking about earlier, right? In which a lot of you guys are really going to be careful you guys are really going to be observant. You're going to be examining things before you actually do something, act upon something, or before you give in. So to see this message, that's it. That's a huge, huge validation from the angels and from spirit. Wow. So a lot of you are also becoming more practical. Some of you are already, you know, very compassionate or very practical. But some of you are becoming like that. More compassionate, more practical. All right, last two cards. Let's see. 
I am nurturing. Oh my gosh. Everything that we have discussed is appearing in your cards. Crazy. It says here, number six, your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Yeah, see, you guys are naturally compassionate people, very loving. No wonder you got the empress, right? Because like what I said, the empress is somebody who's very loving. She's very generous and kind, very nurturing. But yeah, I really feel that uh, some of you watching this pile because of your natural, you know, kindness and compassion to others. Maybe, yeah, some people may have abused that, but it's not to say that you need to become cold, but you're just becoming a lot more careful, all right, moving forward. Um, and I feel as well that somebody watching this pile are natural born healers as well, all right? So I feel this is part of your gift to continue to shine your light on others, to help others with the gifts and abilities that you have. Yeah, because that's what it says here. You have a great talent for helping and healing others. So a lot of you guys um, are really all about service, which is beautiful. So next, let's see. I am abundant. Oh my gosh, 888. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. So like what I said, a lot of you guys are finally going to be clearing anything that's creating a blockage for you, all right? Um, whether blockage towards um, love or happiness or even success, okay? And if you can still remember the very start of the reading when I saw the Empress card, that's you becoming a lot more abundant. You're growing, okay? Your skills, everything, because abundance is not just all about finances. Wow, this is so freaking beautiful, group number one. That's the person that you're about to become. Some of you are already, you know, this. You guys are so naturally compassionate or generally you guys are so kind, caring and all that. But I feel that some of you are becoming a lot more kind to yourself or you're learning to become more nurturing and compassionate towards yourself. And yeah, you're becoming a lot more practical in life, okay? So this is so nice. So before we wrap things up, let me just get a message for you. Any message for group number one, please? All right, you got two cards. Beautiful, look at that. You are entering a deeply emotional time in which you ponder the deeper spiritual questions of life. This is a time of self-discovery that deepens your connection to Mother Earth, your friends, and family. At times, your emotions may overflow, but this is a good thing, for these precious moments bring a great gift of healing. Wow. So, yeah. Some of you maybe are, yeah, I'm hearing you guys are empaths or you have a strong connection with nature. So um, some of you are also being encouraged to ground whenever you're actually feeling all of these turbulent energies, all right? Because that's what I actually noticed um, with the energies recently, okay? It's very chaotic, very turbulent. So make sure that you also spend some time in nature or you try to ground yourself, okay? But yeah, just like what it says here, um, a lot of you are going to be entering um, a deeply emotional time in which you ponder the deeper spiritual questions of life, all right? So yeah, let's see here. Oh my gosh, it's three cards. I thought it's just two. What is this? All right, here's your next message. Do not discount your imagination, for it has great power. Amazing things will unfold for you if you pay attention to your imagination. Respect and honor it for just below the surface of this seemingly real world, there exists a dreamlike world full of imagination. What you imagine is not fiction. Very often, it can be the beginning 
of a wonderful new creation. Because, yeah, you guys are really creative people. So do not discount your imagination. Because remember, you got the pioneer archetype which is all about this passion of creating, doing uh, something that other people may have not, you know, done before, all right? Or um, they weren't able to come up with it, but you can because you guys are really, you know, blessed with so many ideas. So I feel this is a really powerful message for someone watching this pile, all right? You have the power to create, in other words. So let's see. Third message, it says, this card signifies expansion and the accomplishment and success that come as a result of doing what you love. See, that's exactly what we were just talking about earlier or something that has great meaning for you. You are creating something of lasting value that will be enjoyed by others for years to come. A strong sense of teamwork and fulfillment abound. My gosh, group number one, you guys are really blessed with so many, you know, talents. You guys are so freaking creative. Your ideas are very much, you know, special and will be, you know, um, well admired by others. All right. So don't Give me your own light, all right? Believe in yourself. Believe in those ideas that you have in your mind, all right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Because in the future or going forward, there's expansion. There's success. No wonder you got the milestone, all right? Going to come a long way, group number one, all right? Wow. So as early as now, celebrate that, all right? Embrace your uniqueness. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I'll see you again, as always, next week. Bye for now. Love and light. So group number two, you've chosen the white jade sphere. Let's begin. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which chose group number two. Let's take a look at your future self. All right, five of wands in reverse. The devil. Six of swords. Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Seven of Swords in Reverse. Wow. Six of Wands <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of movement forward for group number two, which is very beautiful. Okay, that's your energy, or that's what I'm seeing for you in the future, all right? So either, number one, some of you are finally ready to let go of something, whether it's people, situation, or anything from the past that's causing a lot of stress for you, a lot of drama, a lot of negativity, especially that you got the Five of Wands and the Devil card over here. Whatever that is for you. It can be old habits even, all right, that is preventing you from growing as a person, or it can be people around you that is not really supporting you anymore, it's actually not helping you to grow as a person too, toxic, shallow partnerships or superficial relationships, that's also what I'm seeing, okay, or breaking free from negative people as well, because you also got the seven of swords, all right, so I see you guys, you know, moving forward, all right? You're moving on from the past, and you're learning a lot from those past experiences because Page of Pentacles is a student card as well, all right? So this is beautiful. There's a lot of movement forward for you. You're definitely going to be able to overcome any 
past challenges or heavy situations related to your past. So if you're struggling right now, even, all right, I see you here being able to overcome the trials of your life. So be optimistic, stay hopeful, because that's part of your future self. And you're growing, you're learning from it, okay? So let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. Wow, fertility, okay. Oh my gosh, beautiful. This is so beautiful. Before I pull up more cards, let me discuss these two cards, okay? So let's start off with the Empress or the Fertility card, which is quite interesting because you actually chose the White Jade, and White Jade is also related to fertility. So some of you are also going to become a mother, either being a mother for the first time, all right? So that's what I'm seeing, you know, for the future for some of you. Um, others of you, there's growth, there's abundance, there's success, whether it's your own business, because this Midas or Meister card is all about that. Um, it even says here, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold. So either you will be starting your own business. And if you're already, you know, I'm um, having your own business, there's growth, there's success and abundance there. Oh my gosh, I so love this. Also with this Empress card, just like what I said earlier, you have learned from the past, all right? Some of you have dealt with a lot of toxic people, superficial relationships or connections, and this has taught you to love yourself more, all right? So yeah, I'm seeing you being more in the Empress energy or divine feminine energy in which you're really learning how to care for yourself. You're putting your own needs first, all right? And you're also still, you know, being more compassionate towards others as well. Let's see what else. This is so nice. Yeah, because you're realizing what you truly deserve, group number two. So I feel this is still related to uh, what I just said earlier, because I feel that a lot of you chose this pile you were caught up in not so good connections. And I'm not just talking about romantic partnerships. I'm talking about superficial, toxic connections, whatever that is for you, all right? Can be coworkers, friends, you know, whatever. But I'm getting here that, yeah, because of those painful um, connections or experiences, this has taught you to stand in your own power. This has taught you to love yourself more. All right, to embrace yourself, to love yourself more. Yeah, and you're realizing what you truly deserve. So again, when it comes to your future self, you're now the empress. Whether you're male or female, all right, I'm getting that. My gosh. And even when it comes to um, success in your business or in your career, that's because you deserve it. You really deserve it, group number two. You've worked hard for it. So if you think that um, all of your hard work is just going to waste, have patience. Because, yeah, when it comes to your future self, I'm seeing success for you, abundance, growth. And that's what you truly deserve. Let's see what else. Next, you got exchanging gifts, and then you got fork in the road, okay? So let me start off with this exchanging gifts. If it's actually all about connections, even romantic partnerships, so I'm definitely seeing here that, yeah, either you will be attracting or you are already in a relationship where there's a lot of balance, okay? Okay. And that's because of you work hard on yourself. If you've been doing a lot of inner work, all right, self-love work and all that, keep doing it because this is your future self now. You're the empress. 
you know your value, you know your worth. That's why I got the deserving card. And because this is what you're seeing about yourself now that, hey, I am deserving of love. I am deserving of success. That's more of what you're actually attracting into your life, okay? So, yeah, I'm seeing you guys being in a balanced connection, whether it's love or it's other type of connections. There's balance. And also, I'm hearing very strongly that um, for some of you, if you're struggling when it comes to decision making or you're having a hard time trusting yourself, that you begin to doubt, you know, your own capabilities or abilities to decide for yourself, there's confidence. I'm really getting that. I feel that you guys are learning more to become more confident in your ability to decide, okay? You're trusting your own intuition as well, which is beautiful. And some of you are not going to allow yourself to be limited anymore, all right? Either it was your own way of thinking that has limited you currently or in the past, so you're ready now to try out new things, explore new things, so you can grow. That's also what I'm getting. All right, let's see. What else? What else, Spirit? What can you tell us about the future self of group number two? All right, weather, natural events. Yeah, spirit or the universe definitely has your back. I keep on sharing sure it. Group number two. Wow. And then he got seek the truth. All right. So here's what I'm saying. Group number two, when it comes to your future self, if what's happening in your life right now, it's kind of like chaotic or you're actually really worried about how you're actually going to be surviving. I don't know. I'm getting that for group number two. So whether you're struggling financially or what, spirit has your back, okay? I keep on sharing it. So I see you when it comes to your future self, just like what I said. You are in a place of abundance, security, stability, all right? So if right now you're feeling hopeless, all right, it's about time to shift your consciousness. And I'm getting here as well that there are definitely going to be some wonderful opportunities being presented for you. Because again, you're not alone on this. Your guides are definitely guiding you and leading you to the right destination. So if you think that you're alone in your journey, there's no way, there's no way to go or whatsoever. That's not true. Okay. Somebody needed to hear that message, all right? There's definitely going to be a breakthrough for group number two. Also, what I'm getting here is that, yeah, like what I said, with a seek the truth, and then you got fork in the road, there's really something about, yeah, decision making. It's like you don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. But like what I said, either what's going to happen is that there's going to be a breakthrough or you're finally going to be, you know, more trusting of your own decisions, all right? You're trusting yourself, your inner voice. And by trusting your inner voice, it's going to guide you. That's why I got the temple path, all right? So maybe currently, you're struggling with it. You're having a hard time believing in yourself. You're having a hard time believing in your own ability, just like what I said, to decide or to make a decision. But that's going to be shifting, Okay. So, yeah, let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards here. Magic prayer. Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that. Because you are a leader. All right. You are a warrior, group number two. Okay, what is this card that flew? Discernment. I was just talking about that. <laughs> I love this. Oh, my gosh. Let's get one more before we continue. 
And yeah, she got authenticity. Okay. So let's actually start off with a magic prayer. So like what I said, a lot of you chose group number two. Maybe currently you've been experiencing a lot of chaotic times or a lot of struggle, right? And like what I said, spirit has your back because I'm seeing here when it comes to your future self, all right? You are going to be in a place of peace. You're going to be in a place of abundance, all right? And you're never alone, just like what I said. Um, for the things that are no longer within your control, all right, know that spirit is helping you, okay? And your prayers are heard and will be answered because you got this magic prayer, all right? Also, when it comes to your future self, I see you being this leader, all right? You are your own leader and you're becoming strong, or you are a lot more stronger and wiser than ever, maybe because of the many challenges or hardships or struggles that you're faced with or that you have faced. And also, being a leader, you are more confident um, when it comes to making a decision. You're following your own discernment now, all right? Maybe in the past, you have the tendency, or currently, you still do have the tendency to doubt yourself, all right? Because look at this, her visions are clouded, all right? But things are really going to be shifting in which, like what I said earlier, you are going to be trusting in your own ability to decide for yourself. You're following your own discernment, okay? You're taking action on something instead of being in this back and forth energy. Also, for some of you, you're speaking your own truth. I'm also hearing that. Or you're embracing your authentic self. All right, you're becoming a lot more authentic now. And when you're actually authentic, you're doing the things that are truly aligned to what is it that you want, who you truly are. So either you are going to be in a career or in a job that is, again, aligned to your true purpose or it's aligned to your passion. Instead of being in a job or career that you really do not want, but you're there just because of this is what your parents wanted for you, or you're actually doing this type of a job because of it's paying the bills. But part of your um, future self is that you're becoming more authentic, your choices in life, all right? Even connections, all right? You're not going to be wasting your time hanging out or spending some time with superficial connections, all right? Because you're becoming a lot more authentic now. That is so beautiful. I so love this for group number two. Let's try to pull it more. A higher view. Abundance. See, oh my gosh, what the freak. This is exactly what I was just talking about earlier. All right. So let's start off with this abundance because the energy of abundance success is very strong for group number two. All right. So as early as now, claim it. Okay. Because I'm getting here that a lot of you are going to be realizing that you are limitless. Maybe it's only your thoughts, your fear that's kind of like, yeah, preventing you from either trying out something new, exploring other possibilities out there, or because you don't have enough confidence in yourself, you're afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. So in order for you to achieve abundance, you have to realize that you are a limitless being and that you can truly manifest everything that you desire and turn it into reality okay wow i so love this plus with a higher view this is you um yeah growing as a person i see you becoming a lot more wiser and knowledgeable just like this owl over here plus your perspective is also shifting okay you're learning to see things differently. 
So yeah, there's something about you becoming a lot more mature, all right? You're actually more open now to see things from a different lens. That's beautiful. I love this. All right, let's see. What else? Protective nest. Oh my gosh, yeah, mermaids love. Change of seasons, okay. And you have weaving flowers, wow. There's something about you finally turning all of your manifestations or your dreams into reality. Yeah, I really got that, especially when I saw this weaving flowers, all right? So whatever it is that you've been manifesting, group number two, know that there's nothing impossible. You can definitely turn that into reality, all right? You guys are naturally like the magician, you know, powerful manifestors. And I'm seeing as well that when it comes to your future self, you guys are really going to be more than ready now to to try out something new, just like what I said. You're letting go of the past, all right? Because you're more open now to embrace change. And number two, um, you're more open to grow. That's really what I'm getting. Because when you're allowing yourself to be stuck on one thing, or you're limiting yourself, you're putting yourself in a small box, that's preventing you from growing. Some of you are going to be like what I said, letting go of connections, even relationships or people connections that are preventing you from growing as a person. Okay. Some of you, you've learned a lot um, from love and life, especially around partnerships. Okay. And this has taught you to be a lot more mindful around connections. Okay. And I'm really seeing here that, yeah. When it comes to your future self, you guys are really going to be attracting or you are already in a very beautiful and a much more balanced partnership here, okay? I'm still drawn to the nest. So somebody watching, really, this pile is going to become a mother or you're starting your own family. That's also what I'm seeing for you. Okay, what else? Mindful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Awareness. Blissful. See? Oh my gosh. Abundance again. I can't make that up. Oh boy. Congratulations, group number two. And that's because you really deserve it. Okay. Radiant. Okay. So here's what I'm seeing about your future self. You're becoming a lot more aware now. Your consciousness is also awakening. That's also what I'm hearing from spirit. You're more mindful, like what I said. I just said something about your paying attention to certain type of connections or even the people, new people that you're going to allow into your life, all right? Um, and that's because of the lessons they've gotten from the past. So there's something about, um, you becoming more mindful, right, of certain things. And yeah, some of you are also going to be in a place, of course, of peace. If right now you're actually struggling, um, some of you are even on the verge of giving up, so don't. Because like what I said earlier, I see you being a place of peace. And now you got the blissful card. You also got abundance. Now, abundance is not just all about financial success or abundance, but I also see that since you got the Midas card and they got the Empress card. So definitely um, financial abundance is also um, what I'm seeing for a lot of you, Joseph's pile. But you're growing because abundance is also talking about growth, all right? Either you are growing in terms of um, 
yeah, in terms of what you've learned in your past experiences, all right, you're growing as a person. Some of you are attracting more like-minded people, all right? That is still abundance. And yeah, and that's because your mindset has changed or has shifted, group number two. That's what, you know, shifted things. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. And your energy or aura is very much, you know, radiant as well. You're shining, okay? Look at that. There's another owl. So something about knowledge, wisdom, yeah. I feel as well that with this radiant card, now that you're realizing that I shouldn't limit myself anymore, I shouldn't put myself in a small cage, I'm meant to do something else, I'm meant to shine, that's it, all right? With that mindset, with that realization, this is you really you know, pursuing whatever it is that you wanted to pursue or achieve in life because in the past, you used to limit yourself. You're always thinking that I can't do it or maybe I'm never going to be successful. So there's really something about you changing your mindset, okay? So you can experience all these wonderful things that we're seeing in your cards. All right, so let's see. What else? Let's try this one. Oh my gosh. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh my gosh, I knew it. So again, like what I said for group number two, you are definitely going to be in the place of peace. So if things are chaotic right now, it's really turbulent, there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of heaviness, you're definitely going to be moving forward from that because that's your energy even at the very start of the reading, if you notice, all right? Peace is coming into your life, or peace and harmony is also being restored in your life. Maybe that's why I also heard earlier, because of the challenges or the struggles that you're faced with, you felt as if that you lost your life, or you felt as if that you wanted to get your life back. You actually wanted to get your old self back. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Yeah. So yeah, when it comes to your future self, you are definitely going to be in a place of peace. You're ready to let go of anything that's causing a lot of drama or any unnecessary battles. That's also what I'm hearing. You're believing yourself. You're trusting your own magic here, okay? So for those who are also doing some sort of like a spiritual career, Okay, because I'm also seeing that as well for group number two. I'm getting here that, again, there is development or growth in your abilities or in your skills. So that is really beautiful. All right, let's pull up more. <laughs> wow, I so love this. You guys are champions, all right? So there's really, you know, something about the energy of victory for you, okay? No wonder your overall energy at the very start of the reading, it's the six of wands, okay? So there's something about you finally able to overcome a very difficult situation, or successfully overcoming an obstacle.
again, they're really showing me here that a lot of you are going to be releasing or letting go of something. Okay. Yeah. Anything that gives you a lot of drama, a lot of heaviness. Oh my gosh, there's definitely, you know, something about success around career or in your job. Somebody, you know, is definitely going to be recognizing your efforts here, all right? Yeah, I keep on hearing that. Somebody watching this pile, so either you will be promoted, okay? So I see you either wearing a different hat now, all right? Um, there's career advancement, just like what I said, because, yeah, either your superior or somebody in the office or in your work is seeing that you're capable of performing this task, okay? So, yeah, I'm seeing that for some of you. Yeah, look at that. Great happiness. See? My gosh, group number two. You will be in a place of happiness. That's what's happening, all right? Yeah, there's something about you believing in yourself, right? You're becoming a lot more confident now. This is part of your future self. You know that you do have the potential. You're not limiting yourself anymore, right? I'm also getting here that a lot of you are also going to be in a type of career or job that has something to do with, yeah, helping other people too. Let's just get one last for this deck. Yeah, <laughs> again, I'm really seeing here too that the way you're going to be handling challenges or problems is also going to be different. That's part of what's going to happen in your future self. So for instance, this is just an example. When you're faced with a challenge, you get easily you know, affected that you are either, um, yeah, um, yeah, either you're just allowing heavy situations to defeat you, but I'm just getting here that when it comes to your future self, when you're faced with a new challenge, you're not necessarily, you know, going to be um, not taking things seriously, but you're really going to be handling it differently, all right? Some of you are even going to be handling problems with humor, all right? That's how I'm seeing you in the future as well. Beautiful, okay? Because you've been there. You've realized a lot of things. That's why I got the higher view. Your perspective is also shifting or changing. Yeah, very nice for group number two. All right, so let's pull this up and then we'll just get some messages for you guys. All right, it says, I am centered. So either this is also what's going to happen, all right, for you. Or when it comes to your future self, you're becoming a lot more centered now. You're more balanced now. But this can also be a message for some of you. It says here, a wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts. So you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. All right. So, yeah, this can also be a message for some of you that it's about time to re examine, reevaluate your current situation and to make some changes. All right. If you've been, yeah, um, experiencing a lot of low vibrational energies, whether it's brought about by other people or even yourself, all right, you have the power to shift it. You have the power to raise your vibration, all right? Also by being mindful, because again, you got the mindful card earlier. Of what energies are you inviting into your life? Then he got, I am disciplined, okay? So again, when it comes to your future self, I see you becoming a lot more disciplined as well, all right? Your approach, the way you handle things, just like what I said earlier, and it says here, your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas 
and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to your life. All right. Yeah. A lot of, you know, people who chose this pile are powerful manifestors. All right. Let's see what else. I am in the flow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So this is it. So this is what's happening when it comes to your future self. You're more centered. You're being the flow now. You're not allowing yourself to be so anxious, wanting to know the answers right away, or jumping into the future all the time. You're learning how to appreciate the moment. You're being in the present, all right? That's why you got I am centered. And here's a message as well for some of you. It says here, your purpose flows from within you. And everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. Right. Let's get one last card and then some messages for you. I am adaptable. And it says here, flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. I am adaptable. So yeah, if right now this is not how you see yourself, all right, this is what's changing as well when it comes to your future self. You're becoming a lot more centered or you're more centered now. You're more disciplined. Your approach to life is also becoming different or the way you handle things, even challenges. It's becoming different now. You're learning how to be in the flow and you're becoming a lot more flexible or adaptable to some changes. All right. Wow. I love this for group number two. So yeah, before we wrap things up, let me actually get a message for you. Any message for group number two, please? Okay. Beautiful. It says here, what you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes. And your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. Therefore, you saw me shuffle. Therefore, be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Are you freaking kidding me? Positive thoughts now will help create a brighter future because every thought is a seed. If you plant weeds, you can't expect to harvest beautiful flowers. Exactamundo. Now, this is crazy because you actually got the mindful card, right? And this is talking about your future self as well. And that's because you will be realizing the power of your own thoughts. Since a lot of the people who chose this pile are also powerful manifestors, all right? So be mindful. Of what you're always thinking, what energies are you inviting into your life? Because that's more of what you're really going to be attracting. And that's also creepy because you actually got a message earlier. What was that? Yeah. It says a wake-up call for, your, for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts. So there's really something about that because your last message, it's, really aligned to the cards or other messages they've gotten earlier from spirit. So let me read it again. All right. Cause this is very important. And here we go. What you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes and your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. So therefore be mindful and aware of your thoughts, positive thoughts. Now, will help create a brighter future because every thought is a seed. And if you plant weeds, you can't expect to harvest beautiful flowers. Right. So I'm really seeing here a lot of you guys who chose this pile, all right, by this message, there is, you know, something that you really needed to shift. 
For instance, if you wanted to attract abundance into your life, then maybe you have to ask yourself, am I also thinking abundant? Or am I always putting my focus on what's missing in my life? All right? Because again, always remember group number two, awareness is superpower. By knowing all of these things, this can help you do things differently. All right? So you can see some positive outcome or results. Okay? I love your reading. This is my favorite so far, even though I haven't done group three's reading just yet. But yeah, I really see you guys being in a place of peace, being more centered. You're loving yourself more. You're realizing what you truly deserve in life. You're becoming a lot more conscious of your, yeah, decisions even or even when it comes to partnerships or connections, because you're realizing that this is what I deserve. I don't deserve to be in a healthy partnership or in a job that doesn't fulfill me, you know, things like that. Because what you're after is something that you know deep down is what you truly deserve. And because you're loving yourself more now, all right? Yeah, that's it. Your choices and love in life is also becoming different. So congratulations, group number two. I love your reading. So yeah, I hope all of these messages are also going to be helping you so that you can, you know, as early as now, shift your consciousness so you can see a better future for you. Okay? So yeah, I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Love and light. Well, group number three, you've chosen this peach moonstone. So let's begin. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective we chose, group number three. Let's take a look at your future self. The star. Wow. Wow, Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords, King of Swords. Wow, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. And he got Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. I love this for group number three. So here's what I'm saying, okay? If you're currently feeling not so satisfied with your life right now, or things are not making sense in your life right now, you don't like where you are right now, I'm definitely seeing a different story or picture for you when it comes to your future self, all right? First and foremost, what Spirit wanted to tell you is that for whatever obstacle or challenge that you're faced with, that even though it's so difficult that you have to pass through this, yeah, eye of a needle, all right, you can overcome it, group number three. Because there's definitely going to be a breakthrough for you. There is a solution to whatever problem or challenge that you're faced with. Because I'm getting here that you will be in a place of your dreams. Group number three, okay? Uh, I'm seeing that for your future self. I see you doing things that you really love doing, all right? Something that gives you a lot of passion, motivation with this Ace of Wands. Some of you are also going to be starting out something new, whether it's a new relationship, a new job, a new hobby, all right? But you're really shining like a star, all right? Whatever this is, you're either going to be recognized as well for your job or for whatever it is that you've been working hard on. I'm also getting here that, yeah, with a star, this is you needing to stay hopeful and optimistic about your future, okay? It's like what I said, even though things may not really be good for you right now, you're going through a lot of challenges and it's actually making you feel less motivated, okay? Know that there is going to be a solution to every problem that you currently have right now. 
don't feel hopeless because that's the message I'm getting for group number three. Whatever it is that you've been wishing for or whatever it is that you've been manifesting, when it comes to your future self, I see you achieving that. So this challenge or this problem that you have right now, it's just temporary, all right? It's not to say that you can't turn your dreams or your wishes into reality, all right? Nothing is impossible. That's what I'm hearing with the star card. So for instance, um, you wanted to be an excellent and a successful singer or writer or whatsoever, okay? Um, keep dreaming because I'm really getting here for group number three. Whatever it is that you've been dreaming about or whatever it is that you've been hoping and wishing for, because Star is also talking about wish or hope, and then you got Nine of Cups as well, you will be achieving it. But there's something about you needing as well to, yeah, let go of anything that is blocking you from achieving your success. Maybe it's only your thoughts, all right, that's preventing you from going after what you truly want or being able to achieve this dream or this goal that you really are aiming for. So, yeah, let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. What can you tell us about group number three's future self? Okay. You got five of cups in reverse. Don Juan. Wow. Prince. Okay. Okay. Before I pull up another card, I'm actually hearing a very strong message here. So when it comes to your future self, I see you attracting, you know, healthy partnerships as well. All right. Maybe in the past you were in a shallow connection. All right. Whether this connection they've had in the past is something that has really hurt you a whole lot because you got the five of cups. You were disappointed. You were really hurt. You were really frustrated or sad. But then again, like what I said, you are definitely going to be overcoming this challenge. If this is something that is still happening right now for you, you're moving on from the past. And I'm getting here that, yeah. A lot of you chose this pile. If it's all about love and romance, you are definitely going to be attracting um, a new partnership here. This prince. So maybe you've kissed a lot of frogs in the past with a Don Juan. You know, maybe um, these past connections are not taking you seriously. All right. Um, it's not really something that you would consider as... Um, a really healthy and a balanced partnership. But like what I said, when it comes to your future self, sooner or later, you will begin to attract somebody who's willing to either commit, somebody's really serious with you. Yeah, very nice. Also, I'm getting here, when it comes to your future self, somebody watching this pile, there's, I keep on hearing glow up. So either, yeah. Maybe because you've been working hard on yourself and because of you improving yourself, working on yourself, your aura is also shifting and changing for the better. And yeah, you're glowing up and it's attracting more potential admirers or partners out there. Okay, what is this? Oh my gosh, great achievement. Very beautiful. So, yeah, just like what I said earlier, if you can still remember group number three, I see you being able to finally turn your dreams into reality, okay? So, whether you're still studying, keep, you know, working hard, because I'm getting here that, yeah, either you will be graduating with flying colors for some of you who are still studying, or you're going to be seeing um, that your Hard work is going to be paying off, in other words, because you got the great achievement. Let's try to pull up another one. Mm. 
you have observer, you have a change in the wind. Let's get another one. You have trust, and then you have prosperity. Beautiful. Okay. So here's what I'm actually saying. There's definitely going to be some changes in your situation. It can be change in partnerships, connections, because that was so strong. I see you finally being able to close old doors, all right? And you're being more open to invite fresh new energies or to be open for new opportunities out there, all right? Because that's what this card is also all about. So there's definitely going to be a change in direction, especially with this arrow over here. Either it's you changing or shifting careers or jobs. With this observer card, what I'm actually hearing very strongly is that, yeah, um, since you were hurt over the past, you're more careful now when it comes to certain type of connections or when it comes to people in general because you got the trust card. Because maybe some of you felt betrayed or some of you felt as if that you've been used or abused by someone in the past. And so not to say that you're going to be putting up your walls and all that, but it's you just, you know, being more cautious, more mindful, more careful. So let's just say that you're going to be dating someone new. You're not going to be doing the things they've done in the past anymore. That's why I got change in the wind. All right. Because... You are more wiser now, just like with this, you know, fox over here. You're more cunning. You're more clever. Wow. Because this trust card is actually talking about not giving your full trust to someone so easily. All right. It even says here, do not give your trust to others lightly. So, yeah, I I'm getting here that moving forward when it comes to your future self, you're more careful now. So let's just say you meet a new person out there. You're not just going to be trusting that person right away, all right? And not just all about romantic connections or partnerships. It can be that maybe some of you who chose this pile, um, you trusted somebody, you've lent money to this person, but this person really, yeah, was either a fraud. I'm also getting that. So moving forward, I see you being a lot more careful, all right? more mindful, more wiser than ever. And yeah, you got prosperity. So yeah, when it comes to your future self, you will be in a place of abundance as well. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. That's also what I'm hearing. Because I'm hearing very strongly for group number three that you guys are so hardworking. All right. So whether you're still a student, because I'm also getting that, and maybe part of your wish is to be able to pass the exam, bar exam, or whatsoever. Go for it. Trust in yourself. Trust in your abilities. Trust that you can actually make it. And for those who are actually working hard on their career, yeah, I'm getting here that you will be, like what I said, be in a place of prosperity or financial success and abundance. You're really going to be um, enjoying the fruits of your labor, okay? So, yeah, this is so nice. Let's try to pull up another one. Yin Yang. All right. Just breathe. Moving on. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm seeing. When it comes to your future self, you're becoming a lot more emotionally, mentally balanced. All right? Because Four of Swords is also talking about mental exhaustion. So when it comes to your future self, you're becoming a lot more centered now. All right, you're more balanced emotionally. Some of you with the yin and yang, um, I see you guys, yeah, having that perfect balance with your yin and yang energies, all right? 
So maybe in the past, you're more of like embracing the yang energies. There's a lack of balance with your yin. So yeah, I'm getting that too. Some of you, like what I said, you're finally moving on from the past or letting go of anything that is actually preventing you as well from growing or anything that is actually not making any sense for you anymore, whether it's past connections or other type of relationships, okay, or even job situations, okay, because again, it got the five of cups in reverse. If it's actually an upright, that's you still dwelling on the past, but I see you finally being able to move on from it completely, okay, so yeah, let's see, what else? Listening. Mm hmm. Okay. And we see here the image of the elephant. And for me, elephant is also talking about um, wisdom. All right. So I'm really getting here that with all the things that you've been through in life, it has taught you a lot of lessons or valuable lessons. So, yeah, you're becoming, like what I said, a much more wiser person than before. And also with the keyword listening, I'm also hearing from spirit that, yeah, you're learning now to listen to your own feelings, all right, to your own intuition, especially around, you know, certain type of connections, all right? Maybe in the past, like what I said, you just give in. When you like someone, you just give in and you just basically give everything to that person, attention, energy, or whatsoever. But this time around, when it comes to your future self, you're really paying attention to even the smallest or tidiest details. You're becoming a lot more observant now, okay? And I feel it's because you wanted to attract healthy and a balanced type of connection, not just about romantic relationships, but also when it comes to other type of connections, whether it's friendship or whatsoever. So yeah, let's see. What else? Yeah, see, I was just talking about how you became so wise from your past lessons or past experiences. Now you got enlightenment. Wow. And we see your boat. You're really, you know, moving forward. Group number three. You're ready to start on a new journey or this is you starting on a new journey because you've moved on from the past. Yeah, you've moved on from the past because you got the release card. <laughs> wow. Celestial. Oh, my gosh, really? And since you were able to finally release the past, whether it's past connections or a relationship that is that has reached a dead end, let's just say, you're attracting, yeah, the right type of partnership for you, okay? You're finally connecting with either your soul tribe, okay, or you're being led towards the right type of connection where this connection has a lot of balance. Very beautiful. You're being more open to possibilities as well, okay? which is quite similar to group number two, where maybe some of you, um, you kind of like limited yourself, all right? You thought that this is just it. You allowed yourself to be in a small box, but you will be realizing sooner or later that it's time for you to release that. It's time for you to try out something else, all right? So you can actually grow. Because I'm drawn to the butterflies, all right? So there's definitely going to be a lot of transformation happening for you. Whether it's because of you releasing something from your past, all right? Anything that is preventing you from growing. Wow, I love this. Let's pull it more. Yeah, waking the lion. You're more awakened now. Group number three. 
oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Plus, you're more braver than ever, more bold with this lion over here. Wow. I love the energy as well for group number three because I see you guys feeling a lot more empowered now. Okay. You got blame. I accept responsibility for my well being. And then he got friendship. Mm hmm. Next, you have going forward. See, what did I say? I can't make that up. My gosh. I feel that the energy for group number three is that you're finally letting go. All right. So, when it comes to your future self, this is you. Finally being able to move forward, okay? Because, again, you got the Five of Cups in reverse. You're no longer going to be dwelling in the past. You're more than excited now to try out new things, to explore, to see out or seek out, rather, other possibilities, whether it's um, new connections, new career, okay? Whatever this is for you, all right? But like what I said, you are really going to be moving forward now. Some of you with this blame card, again, I feel this is still related to the Five of Cups, in which maybe currently you still, you know, kept on blaming yourself or others, okay, around some unfortunate things that has happened. Some of you, maybe you were actually in a superficial type of connection. You thought that this person is a real friend or you thought that this person is actually uh, somebody that you can really trust only to find out that they're not or, yeah. So I'm getting here, just like what I said, with a celestial card, by you being courageous enough to let go of the past, you're opening yourself up to try out other things, to be open and willing to seek out other possibilities, either new connections, all right? Otherwise, you're only going to be stuck over the past. So that's why when it comes to your future self, you are finally moving forward. And that's going to happen because you will have a wake-up call, okay? If this is not yet happening right now, sooner or later, you will be realizing that, you know what? I'm stuck in my life. I'm allowing myself to be stuck where I am. So there's no point in me blaming the past, blaming other people, or blaming myself even. I have to move forward. I have to be brave enough to embrace new things out there, fresh new energies, new exciting adventures. That's what I'm getting. And yeah, with a friendship, there is definitely a possibility that when it comes to your future self, you're now either surrounded with like-minded people, all right, or um, people that you really resonate with or you can really connect with because, again, that's what the celestial card is also all about. All right. What else? Let's try to pull it more. Day and night. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I knew it. Sleeping Beauty's Dream. Rose Garden. Touch the sky. <laughs> There's really something about you finally able to, yeah, um, turn your dreams. You're finally able to turn your dreams into reality. Especially when I saw this touch the sky. Whatever it is that you thought was impossible that you cannot achieve. So I'm seeing you guys finally being able to achieve it or experience it okay that was so strong for group number three when it comes to your future self plus i'm also getting here that a lot of you guys are going to be 
yeah, more optimistic as well. Because when I saw this, you know, image and she's holding the sun, that's you. Embracing the light. Maybe you've been in a period of darkness for a long time. And like what I said, I see you finally being able to move forward from the past. Maybe at one point you were kind of like, yeah, the sleeping beauty. You were stuck in a particular situation. You've been sleeping, you know, you've been, yeah, stagnant. But finally, you're awakened, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And with this rose garden, this is basically talking about your hardships in life. We see here this beautiful lady and this beautiful rose. Yet, there are thorns on her neck. And these thorns are talking about the challenges, the pain, the hardships that you face. But... I'm really seeing here when it comes to your future self, you've learned from that, okay? And since you've learned from the past, you've learned from those painful memories or experiences, you've transformed to become a very strong person, okay? Wow, I love this for group number three. What else? Let's try this one. Centered. You're a lot more centered now, emotionally. Yeah, there's balance when it comes to your emotions, okay? And again, with the sun and the moon, there's really something about yin and yang energies. So you're really going to be a lot more balanced in terms of, yeah, for instance, in the past, let's just say you are a woman. Maybe you're embracing more of your masculine energy. So yeah. When it comes to your future self, I see you being balanced there. A balance between the yin and the yang energies. You got gratitude, okay? Which is crazy because this prosperity card, it had something to do with gratitude as well, okay? In which you're appreciating more of what you have right now instead of putting your focus on what you have lost or what you no longer have, which is, again, the reason as to why you got the Five of Cups. Because Five of Cups is talking about crying over spilt milk, right? Without realizing that, hey, you know what? There's still hope. There's still two cups standing. So, yeah, I see you guys, you know, being more focused on what you have right now. And to learn how to appreciate it. Blessed? Oh my gosh. Wow. And then he got nature. Yeah. So with this blessed card, and again, he got the gratitude. I feel those two cards are quite similar. All right. Based on what I'm hearing from spirit, you're definitely going to be um, realizing that you're actually blessed. That there are so many things that I should still be grateful for. I may not have some of the things that I want, but it's not to say that my life sucks or that, yeah, my life is totally unfortunate. So, yeah, there's also a change or your the way you actually perceive things and even yourself is also going to be different. That's also part of, you know, your future self. Whereas maybe currently or in the past, you always see yourself as if that you're small or you can't do this or I don't have this. All right. So there's that energy of lack, in other words. All right. But when it comes to your future self, you're feeling more blessed now. You're grateful for what you have. You're feeling a lot more centered. Yeah. And more wiser, too, because I'm drawn to this L over here. Some of you are also going to be more in touch with nature or you're connecting more with nature, which is probably going to help you to be a lot more grounded and centered, too. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What else? Okay. Oh 
Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Somebody watching this pile, either you were scammed or you dealt with people, yeah, kind of like betrayed, you know, um, your trust or, yeah. Oh, my gosh. No wonder that for some of you are going to be a lot more careful going forward when it comes to people. You're not going to be giving your trust lightly anymore. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, you got the victim. See? Oh my gosh. So either you were abused, you were victimized, but you're rising above it, okay? It's like what I said, um, when it comes to your future self, you're becoming a victor now, all right? Or you're not going to be seeing yourself as a victim anymore. Instead, you're learning from it, you're rising above it, okay? But there's really something about lies, deception, betrayal here. So I feel for group number three, this is most probably what you've experienced. No wonder you got the trust card, all right? You may have given your trust to the wrong person or people. And the result of that is that you're learning, you know, to become a lot more cautious and more wiser and clever than ever. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's see what else. Okay. Wow, this is very interesting. Okay, let me stop before I pull up four more cards. Somebody watching this group, in the past maybe or currently, you may have actually, you know, done things. No wonder you got the blame card. Not for all of you. Remember, this is a general rating. But there's somebody watching this pile in which you may have decided or you may have done things that you have regretted. So no wonder you got the Five of Cups as well. Because Five of Cups is not just talking about past disappointment. It's also talking about regret. And we saw the blame card. So maybe whatever it is that you've done in the past, it has caused a lot of, you know, devastation. Not only to yourself, but to other people even. Okay? Because of something that you may have done. Or something that you may have decided. And it caused a lot of stress, a lot of problems, not only for yourself, but even to the people around you. Okay? So whoever this is for, like what I said, um, if currently you're still, you know, seeing yourself as a victim of that unfortunate event or circumstance, or um, you're still blaming yourself, like what I said, eventually you will have a wake-up call if this is not yet happening, but you will be realizing that there's no point in allowing yourself to be in the energy of the past, to keep on blaming yourself, to keep on hating yourself, or to keep on, yeah, wanting to go back in time and shift it. Because the reality is you can't. Maybe that's why I got the sleeping beauty. All right. It's about time for you to wake up. All right. To wake up to the reality that there are things really that I cannot change anymore. And there's no point in regretting or um, blaming myself or others. So no wonder there's a lot of energies for group number three in which you're finally letting go of that. Okay. Because eventually 
you will be realizing that there's no point anymore. Okay? You're just being hard on yourself even. But because of the things that you may have done in the past that you are in deep regret about, instead of, you know, yeah, hating yourself for it all the time because that's not going to change anything anyway. Um, we all make mistakes, but you're just going to learn from it, all right, moving forward. For others of you, I'm actually also picking up that when it comes to your future self, you are taking back your power. Maybe in the past, um, you just allow people to walk all over you, all right, thinking that, all right, this person has helped me. So even if, you know, you know that this person is becoming more abusive or um, just because you felt as if that you are feeling indebted towards what they have done to you or towards what this person has done for you, that you just allow what this person, you know, kept on doing. I see you breaking free from that. You're really getting your power back. All right. I don't know what this for again. I'm also seeing a lot of you guys, you know, getting the respect that you so deserve by you learning how to respect yourself. Because respect is earned, right? You cannot demand that from others. But once you also learn how to respect yourself, people would also start respecting you, okay? So I'm also getting that. What else? You're also going with the flow now. Yeah, somebody somebody watching this pile um has dealt with a very toxic person or connection. Now it's making sense why you really got the trust card in which you have given your full trust to someone only to find out that this person is a fraud. Either this person used your money or this person betrayed you. Yeah. Because you got this card around Parasite in which you've dealt with toxic people who's very abusive. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love this. So they're actually showing me that you're beginning, when it comes to your future self, you know your value now. All right. Like what I said earlier, you're no longer going to allow yourself to be walked all over on or um, trampled on by people. Some of you are allowing it to happen because of you felt as if that you are indebted. I don't know what was that for. You felt indebted to that person because that person may have helped you. And it's hard for you to say no now, even though you are uncomfortable or you don't like what this person is doing. I'm just getting very specific messages for someone. I don't know is that for, but maybe you really needed to hear this, okay? But yeah, I see you, you know, um, respecting yourself more now, all right? You're also seeing your own value. Your value is increasing, okay? And then some of you are also going to be um, seeing some improvement in your skills because you got mastery of craft. So there's actually growth, development, and whatever skills that you have, all right? All right, so let's actually pull this up. I'm drawn to some of the specific messages I've gotten for group number three. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you got, I am optimistic. So maybe this is also um, part of what's going to happen when it comes to your future self. You're more optimistic now. Because maybe currently, you're always seeing yourself as a victim of the past. Okay. But let's read this first. It says, a major shift is about to come into your life. 
experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. See? Oh my gosh. Be open to this new direction. Is that's really what I'm getting for group number three. In order for you to see some positive changes, you have to be willing to let go of something. You have to be willing to explore or seek out new things. Because I'm getting here that there's a new path being opened out for group number three. You got, I am charismatic. Now with this one, this is what I got earlier. I don't know if we can still remember group number three, but even her glow up, all right? So I'm really getting here that, yeah, um, it's like you're attracting more um, admirers because of there's some something that has changed within you, all right? Or whether there was a glow up or what. But anyway, let's just read this. Expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You're able to get others on board with their ideas, all right? So yeah, for some of you guys, yeah, you guys are really going to be turning a lot of the ideas that you have into something successful, all right? Plus, I'm also getting here that maybe there's a new skill for some of you, or there's growth or mastery in your skill, in your current skill. Then you got, I am adaptable. Oh my gosh, you keep on getting number five. So there's definitely a lot of changes happening for group number three. So it says, I am adaptable. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Wow, no wonder you keep on getting number five, which is a number of change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. Oh my gosh. So you're becoming a lot more flexible now, all right? And adaptable to some changes. Or you're, again, like what I said, you're ready to try out new things or seek out new possibilities. Then you got, I am intuitive. So yeah, all well, you guys are definitely intuitive people, all right? And whether there's an increase as well when it comes to your uh, abilities, your gifts, or you're becoming a lot more sensitive and more and more intuitive, but it says here, you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. So yeah, I I'm getting here that yeah, your intuition is um, becoming a lot more heightened as well. That's what's going to happen when it comes to your future self or you're trusting your intuition now. Um, you're, you're believing in your inner voice. That's also what I'm getting. And with the intuition that you have, you can also provide support and guidance as well to others. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. So before we wrap things up, let me just get a message for you. Any message for group number three, please? Okay. You got two cards. Start off with this one. It says, this card signifies expansion and the accomplishment and success that come as a result of doing what you love or something that has great meaning for you. You are creating something of lasting value that will be enjoyed by others for years to come. A strong sense of teamwork and fulfillment abound. Oh my gosh, isn't that so beautiful for you, group number three? So there's really something about growth, expansion, accomplishment, because you got a great achievement card, and success. And this is based upon on what you truly love doing. Oh boy. Now your last message is this. It says, do not discount your imagination, for it has great power. Amazing things will unfold for you if you pay attention to your imagination. Respect and honor it for just below the surface of the seemingly real world, there exists a dreamlike world full of imagination. What you imagine is not fiction. 
very often it can be the beginning of a wonderful new creation. One of the groups got this card actually. So somebody may have been, you know, trying out every pile. But yeah, one of the groups got this card. And so it's kind of like also similar to this card in such a way that um, Spirit is basically reminding you guys that you're highly creative. You have the power to create, to create something new, to turn your ideas into something really successful, something really wonderful. So again, pay attention to those, all right? You have the power to, um, yeah, to do something that other people may have not done before or tried out before, but all it needs is confidence or the courage for you to, again, turn those ideas and into something, into a reality or to turn those ideas or put those plans rather into action. So yeah, I'm getting that for group number three. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this reading, group number three. This is all about your future self. I'm really happy to see you guys finally, you know, learning from the past without having to be stuck over the past anymore because I see you guys moving forward. And by you moving forward, you are carrying the lessons that you've learned from those past experiences or past pain or hurts, all right? And you're no longer seeing yourself as a victim. I see you guys as well putting your focus on your growth, all right? Because this is your main focus now. You want it to grow. And in order for you to grow, you have to be open to step outside of your comfort zone. Or again, not to allow yourself to be um, put in a cage or in a box anymore. Because you're meant to grow. You're meant to expand. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for group number three. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.